Howdy, I'm Matthew. And I'm Samson. And today, it's time for Trebuchet Tuesday. Yeah, I was going to say that. Today, we're going to be working on Wheels. the... Wheels. Yeah, again, I, I was going to say that. Will you just go away and let me work? Alright, let's get after it. Before I can work on my trebuchet today, I've got to change the rear shocks on my SUV. I hit some more boards out here on one of these lovely country roads the other day and the dang vehicle went sideways, so put on some new rear shocks and see if that helps. And <laughs> so this is my 
idea so far. Um, the wheels will go on this piece of pipe and I will saddle these pieces of pipe and put them over it and there will be another axle down here and it'll go under the trebuchet and then we'll put pieces of pipe coming up to get it up off the ground a little higher. Uh, well the wheels will get it off the ground too but I'm actually going to put a tray on this chassis so an object can slide down that tray when it gets flung. Uh, so that's the reason I need to go from this frame and go higher up to the current trebuchet frame. Because I need the arm to come back under itself more. Okay, um, so I'm going to go make saddle cuts on the end of these two pipes. I was just thinking, I don't know if I've ever actually used this technique in a video. I wrote an instructable on it. It's been very popular. Had lots and lots of views on my Great Samson 3000 channel uh, of the video I made of the instructable. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've ever actually used it in a project that I filmed. So anyway, um, according to the calculator I used, I need to set the saw for 38 degrees. So that's what I got it at, and we'll make these saddle cuts. Try a piece of scrap in there and see if it fits. Yep. Well, that is the wrong angle. Yeah, I can math. It's 28, not 38. Fits much better now I set to that. So the welding rod I'm using is 6011, supposedly. It says so on the rod, and the package said so. I didn't get this at my usual welding supply store. Uh, I picked it up somewhere else because I didn't want to drive clear across town to where I normally go. Uh, but it does not weld like 6011. So I'll run a bead and show you guys the slag that comes off this stuff. That is the bead I just ran was supposedly 6011, which 
doesn't weld on AC for beans. And look at all that slag. That's ridiculous. I don't know what that welding rod actually is. So I'm switching back to my 7014. A uh, few of you have been asking why I've been burning 7014, and that's basically just because I have a surplus of it right now. And also with the welder on this side of the shop being an AC welder, um, you know, it's just easier than trying to get 7018 AC rod. Um, I do have a bridge rectifier though that I plan to hook up this welder and see if it works for DC. But in the meantime, burning my surplus. Well, what do you think about that for a trebuchet chassis? That's hard to say. So what do you think about that for a trebuchet chassis? That's a tongue twister. So anyway, that's all for this week. Uh, don't know if I'll get back to you guys next week or not. It'll be Memorial Weekend. So, have a good one. Thanks for watching.